Hey guys, Darren Campbell here, your real estate mentor. And I'm calling to talk to you a little bit about prospecting and old school versus new school. A lot of people will tell you that cold calling and door knocking are dead. And I wouldn't I won't say that they are dead. I'll say they are dying and but they do still serve a purpose as long as you have a purpose. So, for instance, if you're newer in the business or you don't have a huge um, client list, then you should, in your prospecting, you can door knock and you can cold call if you can for whatever phone numbers you can capture. But the idea has to have a purpose behind it. Um, you are in the business of trying to collect as many ways to reach out to your clients as possible. So in this particular case, your goal is to get their email address. And if you don't have it, your goal is to get their phone number. And so old fashioned prospecting it should be aimed at giving them some kind of bait that'll make them value you and then give you their information so that you can contact them in a more efficient way later. So if I'm door knocking you and I'm uh, and I want to um, I want to what I want to do is I want to offer you something of value that will, will make you go, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to give you my email address or my phone number so that you could send me that value or that information so in many cases what what could that be that could be a a report that helps them um, know what's going on in the marketplace that could be a a home valuation um, that you'll send them you know you can look at the home and then send it back to them it could be the could be my current hot list of what's for sale what's sold what's expired in the neighborhood um, those are things of value that people will want and they will be willing to trade you their email address or their phone number in order to get so the, the goal is to collect inside of your farm, collect as many uh, leveraged ways to reach out to your farm as possible. So my goal in a farm is to get 80, 90 percent of the people's email addresses so that with one push of a button, I can talk to all of them. Meaning if I click send, I can send out my latest listing to everyone in my farm. That's why when I do the slow old school um, lead gen, then I'm collecting leveraged information so that I can, so I don't have to eventually cold call or door knock at all. So if I can get your email address, then I can now contact you and 10,000 other people at the same time. If I have your phone number, I can text you and 500 other people at the same time. So make your prospecting intentional so that you can come out of that process with way more leverage so that six months from now or a year from now, you've got 60, 70, 80% of the email addresses and or phone numbers of the people in your farm so that you can talk to them all in a much more leveraged way. So as you go forward in 2020, if you don't have a ton of email addresses and a ton, or a ton of uh, phone numbers in your farm and your door knocking is the only way, you knock on those doors, you deliver something of value and trade that value for their email address. Um, same thing with your cold calling. You do have their phone number and you're able to, you're cold calling for a living. The idea is get their email address so that you can then start sending them information in mass and, uh, and you don't have to go one at a time anymore. That's today's tip. I hope you can use it. I hope it makes sense to you. So door knocking, cold calling, even an old school snail mail are not dead. They just need to have an intention. The intention is to collect your prospects information so that you can leverage next time send it to them all at once all right that's the tip for today everybody make it a great day i'm darren c campbell your real estate mentor i'll see you at the top